The Chinese New Year, or the Lunar New Year, is based on cycles of the moon. It's not the Gregorian calendar. And Chinese New Year is celebrated for two weeks, so growing up in San Francisco, Chinese New Year was my, it's my favorite time of the year because it's Christmas that lasts for 15 days. We get together with family, eat gigantic meals, all the traditional foods in the New Year's, and of course they have lion dances. The stories represented by the lion dance, they go back thousands of years in history. They talk about filial piety, loyalty, being righteous. These are the stories that Chinese people tell their children. This is why you're Chinese. The lion is seen as a harbinger of happiness, a harbinger of good fortune, bringing auspiciousness to an occasion where you want to celebrate, you want to bring that auspicious energy to the occasion. The lion dance is a martial art in the way you move, in the way you blink at the right time, in the way you move the mouth at a certain time, in the, how you move your body to make it look animal-like. The eyes are made of wood, painted wood. The insides are made of bamboo, bound with paper, and then covered with paper as paper mache. And then there are strings to pull the eyelids shut. You operate the mouth with your hand. When you look at something that's done traditionally in this manner, you can tell that a very deft hand did it. We wanted to be good stewards of this art form. We take in these lines and we repair them and restore them to what they used to be or you know something even better. This line I'm currently restoring, it's been crushed on one side. And pretty much what I do is I take a lot of bamboo strips and I create splints. I take first aid tape, which is relatively cheap, and I just create that splint. And sometimes it's easier to get inside the line. I go over it with the glue to keep it together and solidify that. This lion's 20 years old now. If we didn't rescue it, it would be uh, burnt at a temple. That's one of the traditional ways that lions go back to heaven. They get burned and the spirit is released and it goes back up. I'm reinforcing the spine of the lion head right here. Oftentimes, the line breaks right across the spine. I build up the paper mache layers. Really, really make it tough to break and uh, easy, easy for us to paint. What we like to look for is blending. Blending is the use of two colors and how one color will fade directly into the other. So example is right here in the eye socket, the black to the white. This is the most nerve-wracking part of painting lion heads is because if you're not careful, you can end up with solid black or white or too much black or too much white. One specific thing from long ago till today is that the nose is still always green, or it at least has some kind of green on it, because green symbolizes benevolence. These are the, the original ears that came with this line. Today I'll be affixing um, the black goat fur to the, to the underside here. I think it's plenty. It's an honor to be entrusted with passing down the art to the next generation. Because there's many, many people that have kept the art alive this long for us. And we must not drop the ball.